in America. I attended American schools and became assimilated to American culture and ideals, so I basically grew up as an American. Yet, I attend a Korean church, listen to K-pop, and would watch Korean dramas once in a while, but I hardly understood the Korean culture. For instance, the way my parents were educated in Korea was perplexing to me, because it was totally different from the American style of education. Therefore, when my parents introduced me and forced me to participate in kayak, I didn't understand why I had to go to Korea. However, once I arrived in my parents' home country, I felt like something marvelous happened. The moment I arrived in Korea, it strangely felt like I was at home. All the people on the streets looked like me, and when I began to explore what was beneath this fascinating culture and learn about the magnificent history of Korea, I felt very excited and extremely proud of my heritage. During my stay, I was gradually transformed from an apathetic, careless, disrespectful, Americanized teenager to a curious and mature young woman full of gratitude for my parents and the program. And I've always wanted to thank my parents because they made a great sacrifice to leave their motherland country's soul, mainly because they wanted my sister and I to have a better education in the United States. Understanding my parents' lives and my Korean identity has become a significant matter because my family is deeply rooted in Korean culture and without knowing my parents, about my parents' cultural roots, I would not be the same person I am today. Yet, one question remained. How could I look deeper into my roots? Visiting my motherland country was not enough, so I had to carefully observe, think, and realize what would lead me to fully discover the wonders of my identity. All of the amazing landmarks that we visited and the smaller programs that we participated in stimulated a lot of my thoughts about the Korean culture and my feelings about being in a country that I was closely connected to. Additionally, I happened to encounter some foreign students from all over the world in Kyung University, where we stayed. One day, I was sitting in the hallway, downloading songs onto my phone, and I was listening to a conversation between a young black woman and a Japanese girl. I was so shocked to hear them speaking Korean fluently, because it was like they were ordinary Korean citizens. I was amazed at how natural and proficient their Korean was, and it was at that moment that I felt embarrassed, but also challenged. I thought to myself, I'm a kid from a Korean family. I look Korean, and I actually am Korean, but it's a shame to see how bad I am at speaking, reading, or writing the language, and how much knowledge I have about my own country. Watching these two students have a completely normal Korean conversation made me feel that I have to try and work harder to learn my own language and culture. It's one idea to understand the language and culture, but it's another to know what to do with that understanding. While I continue to learn, I'm hoping to find what I can do for Korea and America that will spark the interest of the younger Korean generation. For example, there used to be a member in my church who was trilingual. He spoke Korean, English, and Spanish. Before he came to the US, he used to live in Argentina in his teenage years. And while his family was attending our church, he was working in the United Nations as a representative for Chile. Since he was an expert in both languages and the economy of Korea, he worked as a bridge between Korea and Chile, as well as representing Chile in the United Nations. He loves Chileans, and they love him too. He was a great asset to both countries and made numerous remarkable contributions for world-renowned organizations such as the UN. I really look up to his accomplishments and hope to be like him someday. Of course, I need to deepen my understanding of what it means to be a Korean through language, culture, and many other areas of Korea, such as its economy and education system. Yet, I should never forget how great the United States is, and I'm grateful for what the country provides for me. They say that America is a melting pot, and I see this country as a mosaic, a huge jigsaw puzzle. Each puzzle piece contributes to creating the bigger picture in the end. I need to know who I am and be what I am by displaying myself as a unique Korean American. Thanks to the sacrifice of my parents on the motherland excursion trip, I experienced a huge turning point in my life. In the future, I look forward to seeing myself proudly representing the great nation of Korea and also contributing to the United States. Thank you.